Alors, on va commencer très vite par les we will begin with the introductions. I know you have lots uh, and lots of questions. Uh, Let's start at uh, the far end of the table Suzanne with Suzanne de Beck. Air. Et India Hair, Benjamin Laverne, and here we have Pierre Pascal Grégory and Pierre Madame Richard, and the director, Mai Wen. Before I give you the floor, I would like to ask you a very simple question. It was very beautiful to see how moved you were after the screening. I had the impression that you were all deeply moved. Yes, I was indeed. It's a film that I've been thinking about uh, uh, for 17 years. It was a sort of an obsession. I started working on it in 2016. There was a huge amount of emotion because the film was released at the same time in France. So it was a, a double the pressure. And for the actors? Huge emotion to see the uh, film on the screen and share this with everyone. I discovered it yesterday. It was quite incredible to live uh, and experience this all together. It was wonderful. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I agree. It was the uh, first time I was in Cannes, too. So there's something quite sacred when you come to this temple of the cinema. We were defending a real group film. Cannes is an opportunity to uh, meet together as a team and see the film again on this huge screen. Gentlemen, I've often been in Cannes during the festival, of course, but this is the first time that I've been here with a film. So obviously I was scared stiff, but uh, I was very excited at the same time. I felt tremendous pleasure uh, commensurate with the warm welcome given to the film. It was a lovely moment. So I hope I'll come back for another one. I'd like to thank Mai Wen for being here. Yes, thank you, Mai Wen. And thank you to you all. It was a wonderful cast. And as some people know, I have uh, been in a number of films in competition here. So going up the uh, red carpet uh, was a form of continuity. Maybe it won't happen to me again, but it was uh, extremely moving. Okay. Uh, Okay. We'll take a first question. Hello. I'm Nicolette Valetti. I would like to ask a question to Mai Wen. I was deeply impressed by the performance of Johnny Depp, who unfortunately isn't yet here. He'll be here in a minute. Could you please tell me why you chose Johnny Depp? to portray a French king. First of all, before I went to see Johnny, I proposed the part to some French actors who I uh, very much enjoy, but uh, that didn't work out. I wanted to be faithful to my desires, and I thought that uh, uh, what I wanted was far more important than necessarily having a French actor. I wanted uh, to really feel strongly about the actor, particularly as I would be uh, hugging and kissing him later on. Hello. I'm a bit impressed, sorry. So perhaps uh, my answers are a bit short. Johnny, when I met him, was already very familiar with the history of France. He uh, often says in interviews that he feels very much at home in France. He said this for 20 years, and it's not just a posture. He's very curious about France. He loves the country. He's uh, very uh, knowledgeable about uh, French cinema, painting, and music. At no moment did I say, well, he'll have to study French history. He already knew much more than I did about Louis XV. And when I met him, it seemed an obvious choice. We met at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and finished our interview at midnight, and we hardly talked about the cinema at all. I really fell in love with him in this part. 
Hello, uh, my name is Ayako Ishizu for uh, Korea, Japan. And uh, the uh, question for Mayen. Uh, the, well, why did you decide to not portray, I mean, uh, not depict the death of the Jane? Excusez-moi, je n'ai pas compris la question. Pourquoi vous avez voulu euh, ne, ne pas montrer la mort de Jeanne Ne pas ah. aller jusqu'au bout de son histoire euh, de, de, Ça de... va quand même au bout de son histoire, parce qu'on sait que c'est une histoire jusqu'au bout. Je vais aller tout le temps jusqu'au bout de son histoire. Nous savons ce qui s'est passé à la fin, mais je ne voulais pas filmer sa mort de scène, parce que je voulais rester sur la scène de l'amour. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la mort de Jeanne. Je me suis posé mille questions, parce qu'il y a plus que la
and respecting the actors. I think they all have their own way of uh, um, talking about the filming. I remember you said during the takes that we, uh, the actor had to be believable uh, as an, a person of the times. <laughs> <laughs> there, as to the literary aspect of the language, we didn't want to feel that we were blocked in some dusty kind of language, but it was a bit like a laboratory. Um, people were saying, well, uh, look for this or look for that. We didn't want things to become vulgar in any way or too popular. We needed to stick to the historical aspect. Uh, but we were careful not to use too many ellipses. Uh, we didn't want to say, don't do this. Rather, we felt it was important to say, do not. You had to retain a given level of language in the course of the dialogues. Well, searching for the truth and, and a certain frailty, of course. Uh, and so you said, well, try to say this in your own words. Uh, well, I don't have uh, um, a feather pen like people did at the time. I don't know how people did write at the time. So often what we did was to revert to what was written. Also, I wanted to stick to the idea that in Versailles, spontaneity was not uh, something very proper. And this uh, can be seen in the characters in Versailles. My character could be fairly spontaneous, and that's what I was looking for. I wanted uh, Jeanne's charm to uh, be quite clear and come through in the film. But as to the others, they had to be very upright, uh, strict, uh, and proper. Uh, well, there was a lot of etiquette in Versailles. Appearances counted a lot. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. I have a question about the character Zamor. How much uh, research did you do in um, making his character, first of all, was he an actual character in history? I know that there were certain um, children from Africa who were sold into as pages or slaves back then, but how much, how historically accurate were you in with Zamor, and what was your thinking uh, in, in making him, um, in the life that you portrayed, that he lived with uh, Madame Jean du Barry? Okay. Je crois avoir tout compris, mais peut-être ce Alors, d'abord, est-ce que oui. Zamor est un personnage qui a vraiment existé? Oui. Uh, so the question et, is being repeated. Did Zamor really exist as a character, and what did you really want to convey through him Alors, and his uh, relationship with Jean Dubarry? The character of Zamor did indeed exist uh, for real. Uh, I read everything that had been written uh, on him. I hoped that uh, it wasn't uh, uh, a romanced version. In the first version, the relationship between Jeanne and Zamor took up a lot of space. And this is a, a, a story that keenly interested me. I always felt it was uh, worthwhile to say this and portray it. It was a way of saying that Jeanne was full of paradoxes. She loved the child very dearly. And then when he was 12 or 13, she rejected him. I felt it was important to show this in the film. It's a, a portrait of the time. And what was the next part of the question? Ah, oh, the relationship at the beginning. Jeanne, and I hope you sense this in the film, has a, a strong maternal uh, feelings. She loved uh, Adolphe, her stepson, uh, portrayed by Thibault uh, Bonenfant, and she was very uh, maternal towards Zamour. She wanted to educate him and did her utmost to sure, ensure that he would uh, receive an education. Unfortunately, how can I put this? She depended too much, perhaps, uh, on the way uh, the court viewed her, in particular the daughters of the king. So she, in the end, rejected Zemmour. In Jeanne's head, in order to be accepted by the court, perhaps she felt it was necessary to reject this young boy. 
Après, j'ai voulu faire des choix. En fait, I had to make choices, of course. The story of Jeanne and Zamour deserves an entire film because it's so beautiful and strong and powerful while being harsh and violent at the same time. Zamour, it was said, was one of the persons responsible for Jeanne being guillotined because he denounced her to the revolutionaries. But he seemed to love her very much. Much, uh, when he grew up. Uh, I think we're going to have a visitor in a few minutes' time. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Depp. I forgot what I was saying. You said that Zamour was very much uh, in love with her. He certainly loved her very much when he was governor, uh, and then uh, he rejected her, and unfortunately he took his revenge, and he died of cold and hunger, having taught French, which proves that what Jeanne did for him really uh, served him throughout his life. You just arrived. I just wanted to ask you the question I asked everybody at the beginning of the, of the press conference. Uh, the emotion yesterday after the, the, the screening, it was very touching images to, to watch. Uh, w what was the feeling, just very, just very simply, what was the feeling after the, the screening yesterday and this uh, standing ovation? Um. For, well, for a, a couple of seconds, it sort of scared me because it felt like we were stuck in a loop. You know, <laughs> when, when we were standing and um, the applause and the reaction from the audience, just the, uh, uh, the, the energy of their um, reaction was, uh, yeah, it just seemed to go, it just seemed to go on and on and I, I, I was, uh, I was, yeah, uh, you know, you, you, you become like a kind of a, because we're all sort of mommies and daddies of the film in a, in a, in a weird way. My win, of course, this is her baby, but um, proud. I was very proud to, to uh, see the comeuppance of uh, the result of good work. I haven't seen the thing, but I know it's good because they said so. <laughs> and I trust them. <laughs> All right, on va prendre une question. Oui, bonjour. Benoît Berthelot de Bloomberg. Benoît Bertolo, question pour Bloomberg. Bloomberg. I have a question for Maïwen about the financing of the film. You said that the financing of the film was complicated. It received uh, financing from uh, Saudi sources. This is a, a first for a French film. Were there certain strings attached for the film? Was this important? And then there was financing from Netflix, too. Is the presence of Johnny Depp, uh, was that a, an issue for Netflix? Well, when it comes comes to the production, you don't have just the Saudis, there are several uh, producers. It was a, a film that needed a big budget. There were no strings attached in terms of the Saudis. I'm very uh, proud that it was produced inter alia by the Saudi. Things are changing. I'd be very proud to go there and present uh, the film. Things are changing. This is not the first French film produced by Saudis. You look at Red Sea, there are lots of other films which are recognized around the world with uh, Saudi financing. As to Netflix, no, it was never an issue. I always said that I would make the film with Johnny, and Netflix and never raised the issue. I have a question about the relationship between Benjamin Laverne and Maïwen, which I find is quite extraordinary. There's great restraint. But I'd like also to put a question to Johnny Depp. Were you surprised to be chosen for this role? And how was it to, to, to shoot in, in French? Was it difficult for, for you? Um, was I surprised? Uh, yeah. I thought someone had made a, there was a terrible misspelling somewhere. <laughs> and my Wen and I ended up in 
the wrong room at the same time. Um, my, my, I mean, I, I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't feel any hesitation uh, with regard to the, to the guy, to the character, and all that, I, the, the, or the language necessarily. I didn't find particularly intimidating. You know, a, a bit of a, you know, it's a, it's a bit like running through the raindrops, um, but. Uh, my question, my question to my wen when we first met was, are you, are you, maybe you want to try a French guy <laughs> um, as King, you know, Louis, uh, you know, as Louis Quinze. Um She thought about it for a second. She said, I, I thought about that too. Nah, I want you to do it. <laughs> so um, I, I thought it was very brave of her uh, to choose uh, some hillbilly from Kentucky to play Louis Kahn's. Um very brave. Um, so yeah, I was I, I was instantly I mean up for it, wanted to do it. Just wanted to make sure that uh, that uh, I wasn't uh, I don't know stepping out of my box and into someone else's, you know, getting into other people's things, culture, thoughts, weirdness. Um, but I'm, gl I'm glad she persisted, and I'm glad I persisted. And uh, the experience of doing the film in French was, I wanted at least to be my pigeon French, at least I wanted it to be in some regard. Uh, I wanted to be able to improvise if necessary. So, <coughs> That was that was uh, again, you know, you're, you're way outside your language, your vernacular, and and your way of expressing yourself. But uh, yeah, it was. Uh, she was very patient with me. I'll put it that way. <laughs> All right, we have a question over there, um, Mr. Depp, on your uh, right, Hi. Anthony Delisandro from Deadline Hollywood. You had meant uh, Bravo on the film. You had Thank mentioned you. in an interview in the Sunday Times back in 2021 that you felt boycotted by Hollywood. Do you still feel that? Do you still f do you feel that the tide is changing toward you doing major studio films again? Um, it's not my tide <laughs> that we're discussing. Um, did I feel boycotted by um, Hollywood? Well, I mean, you'd have to not have a pulse to feel <laughs> at that point, to, to feel like, no, none of this is happening. It's, this is actually just a kind of a weird joke. You've been asleep for 35 years. Um, so just let the weirdness commence. Of course, you know, I mean, when you're asked to resign from a film you're doing because of something that is merely a bunch of kind of vowels and consonants floating in the air. Um, yeah, you feel a bit boycotted. Do I feel boycotted now? No, not at all. Um, but I don't feel boycotted by Hollywood because I don't think about it. I don't think about Hollywood. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I don't have much further need for Hollywood myself. I don't, I don't know how you guys feel, but yeah, I think uh, it's a very strange, funny time where everybody would love to be able to be themselves, but they can't because they must fall in line with the person in front of them. You want to live that kind of life? I wish you the best. I'll be on the other side somewhere, you know. Thanks. Oui, bonjour, uh, Cathy Molen de la RTBF Radio Télévision Belge. Belgian I'm Radio ask my TV. question in English because it's for Johnny Depp. Hello. But my when, if you want to answer, n'hésitez pas si vous voulez répondre. Uh, Johnny, we know that Cannes is a wonderful place for movies, but it's also a great mediatic circus. 
So how do you feel <laughs> coming here, coming back on the spotlight, a lot of controversy, not especially talking about the movie. How both do you feel with that sometimes toxic surrounding? Thank you. Uh, je, je ne lis pas la presse. I don't je ne regarde the pas press. la télé. I don't je watch TV. Pas les I don't radio. listen to radio Sur programs film. about my film. Euh, je me protège. Je I ne sais protect pas myself in this way. I don't know what Ce people are saying. What's uh, very important désir, is to remain faithful to what one wants to do. To go through and finish the film mm. together with the uh, cast and Et the puis, crew. Peut-être qu'il se dit forcément des choses Maybe négatives sur les films. Negative things are being said about the film. I think all sorts of uh, rubbish is, is being said. But uh, that's what happens in Cannes sometimes. It's not my first festival. I know how things work. The film was released yesterday. It's uh, working extremely well. It's a great success, and I'm very happy. What happened now? What do I, what do I, what do I say now? <laughs> Can, I mean, um, I first came to Cannes, <clears throat> it was like 92 or something. I came to Cannes accidentally, to the festival accidentally, with Emir Kusturica, and um, it was a, absolutely a circus like I'd, nothing I'd ever seen. It remains <laughs> the same. And uh, I think that's very good. Um, different faces, same actions, same everything. Um, and so the circus, the circus part is the weirdest part. Um, because it, it's, it's sort of like, uh, like you say, you know, people, Folks out there want to, well, I mean, you believe what you believe. The truth is the truth, it, you know. Um, as far as it being a positive or a negative to the film, all the sort of, um, abstract whispers Um, it, you know, what, what that all that does is it. Maybe maybe people talk about the film in this way, or they will talk about your work in in a certain way, up to a certain point. But the fact is, like, we're all here because we made a film, not because we have a product to sell. <clears throat> but we made a film. Everything that <clears throat> the majority of you who've been reading for the last five or six years have been reading, uh, I mean, with regard to me and my life, the majority of what you've read is fantastically, horrifically written fiction. Um, So the fact is, as I was saying, we're here to talk about a film, but you know, it's like asking a question, how are you doing? But what's underneath in the subtext is, God, I hate you. Do you know what I mean? So that's the sort of media thing. But the focus should be simply on the fact that It's a miracle to get a film made that you care about in the first place. So mm. you succeed there, you win right there. Mm. Um, but to get a film like this made, and with the caliber of, of people and the vision of a, of a tr absolutely, you know, <clears throat> a forward moving uh, artist. Uh, that that's the focus. That should be the real focus. All the stuff that you can stuff your shoes with, uh, you know, or line your parrot cage with. Um, 
I mean, it's boring, isn't it? Are you guys sick of it by now? It's weird. $100,000 bird sings unrecorded Beatles songs. You'll get it later, I promise. <laughs> All right, we got a question in the center over there. Hello, Florence Angeles from W Radio in Colombia. Uh, tout d'abord, merci beaucoup pour les films. Thank you very much for the film. Win. I'm a My question win. for Johnny. Uh, how did you prepare this character? Uh, um, you speak perfectly French with a good accent. I saw Louis Cans uh, uh, with you yesterday. And I, I imagine that it's not so easy to put yourself in the shoes of the King of France, being a not French uh, guy. Uh, thank you. Um, what was, the, what was the original part of the question? I'm sorry. How did you prepare for this? Uh, well, I knew that the first thing to focus on was most assuredly language, um, pronunciation, not the sort of, you know, you know, you can't use certain phrases that you'd love to use, like le cubo de nuit. It doesn't really work coming out of Louis Kahn's mouth, though it sure, I'm sure it did. Um, but so yeah, it, it was really just trying to be as uh, precise as possible and uh, focused as possible. And uh, I had an amazing uh, French uh, uh, coach, Mathilde, who uh, who was fiery and mean and abused me. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, she's a she's a wonderful French teacher, and she was there, and she was diligent. And she made me stretch my mouth in weird places. <laughs> but I still like her. <laughs> she's, she's wonderful. And, and also, I mean, you know, for them, all the, you know, the, that's, this is their native tongue. Me, I'm, I'm, you know, sort of flapping around and hoping that the next word will come out in some form of French. Um, that was, it was fun, you know, because, uh, yeah, I had a lot of help. Um, and mainly they felt sorry for me and just do a couple of takes and send me to my trailer. I'd cry, I'd lay there and weep for hours. No, um, yeah, no, I had a very good teacher and I had a lot of patient actors and uh, crew. Oui, justement, Moi, je me les... souviens qu'il il, il le dit pas, mais je sais qu'il avait un morceau de musique pour euh, chaque had scène. Some, a a piece of music for each scene. Un morceau de musique pour ouais, chaque scène. Expliquez-nous ça. Bah, quand on, when, on, je sais que pour sa mort, je crois qu'il. At the time of his death, I think he was Bach. listening to Bach. Voilà. Il était dans sa bulle et il. He was in musique. his uh, bubble, so to speak, and he listened to the music. Le, he studied uh, uh, which piece of music puis, he wanted to listen to beforehand. And when he turned up in the morning and he showed me the scene, there were arrows all over the place and drawings. Uh, uh, voilà, c'était c'était très impressionnant. It was very impressive to see to what extent he wanted really uh, to. Uh, um, convey his vision, his way of looking at things. Here you've referred only to French, but I was deeply impressed by the depth of uh, his studying of Louis XV and, and the times, the epoch. For the other actors, what's it like to uh, act in French with Johnny Depp? At what point in time did you say, oh, well, it non, was, Johnny, it was okay? Johnny is amazing. Très et tout de suite, when he goes niveau, about his work, he's very star. warm, he makes you feel very much at ease, va, and uh, he's a great star, vraiment, and he says, oh, well, you know, hold on tight, toi, it's going to be a rough ride. And there's a huge amount of uh, collaboration working with him, and he's very humble. He was deeply impressive in this respect. We were all in it together and uh, he and enabled us to share things that was very valuable because we have uh, we're sort of a duo we have to give the impression that we know each other by heart the ballet of the king is his uh, closest uh, collaborator almost his closest friend but uh, we didn't have much text together, so everything had to be portrayed in, in our, the way we looked at each other. So we had great pleasure working together, and, and Johnny 
tout cas, help me, me no end. Uh, me, and he uh, travail, uh, loge, said to me, propose, well, come on, let's work Wen together uh, and we'll uh, uh, propose to my Wen that we edit this or add that. And I very quickly felt extremely at ease. I know it really bore results, and very quickly we established this uh, complicity in our work. I was deeply impressed when it came to the uh, French language. It's very difficult to pronounce the French R, and he managed it right away, and he really looked like a king. I was quickly reassured and thought, no, it's going to be uh, very believable indeed. It's going to be fine. The first time I met with Johnny, I spoke to him exclusively in French. I didn't want to speak to him in English at all. I was struck to see, and I'm not saying this because we're in Cannes, because uh, that doesn't influence me in any way. His French pronunciation was perfect. It's just that every so often he, he searched for the right word. In English, too, he says. But with the French R's and so on, everything Americans find it difficult to pronounce, well, he didn't have that problem at all. Hi, this is uh, Matt Donnelly from Variety. Um, Mr. Depp, related to what you said earlier, uh, there has been a bit of controversy about your presence here in Cannes regarding your past legal matters, personal legal matters. Um, what would you say to those who think you should not have been here at the festival? <laughs> well, so um, we're talking theoretically about what would I do if there were people who didn't want me to come to the Cannes Film Festival? What if one day they did not allow me, under no circumstances, no matter what, I cannot go to McDonald's for life? Because somewhere, if you got them all in one room, there'd be 39 angry people watching me eat a Big Mac on a loop. <laughs> Just for fun. Um, who are they? Why do they care? Some kind of, some species, some tower of mashed potatoes covering the light of a computer screen, anonymous with Apparently, a lot of spare time. I don't think I'm the one who should be worried. I think, I think people should really think about what it's all about, really. OK. We got it. So get another one. No. Another one? Um, yeah. 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 Okay. So, hello, my name is Yael Khan. I'm a French journalist. So, uh, for Johnny Depp, you have been recently exposed on the international stage. I was exposed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> to myself, of course. And I want to know, uh, what's your mindset getting, getting back of acting? Do you, approach it, do you approach it any differently as before? And also, I have another question. What's I laugh your more. No, just one question. Yes. Oh. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's weird. People have seen or heard the word <coughs> comeback exchanged by folks and using that as the sort of catchphrase of ah, the guy's, he's making a comeback or he's made a comeback. If that, and after whatever experiences, not only myself, but other people have experienced, you know, whatever anybody's been through over the, over the COVID years, over the, the this or the that, and suddenly, <clears throat> the film comes to the Cannes Film Festival, and then this wonderful new word. By the way, I've had about 17 comebacks, apparently. Um, I keep wondering about the word comeback, because I, I didn't go anywhere. As a matter of fact, I live about 45 minutes away. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I, um, Maybe, maybe people stopped calling out of 
whatever their, their fear was at the time. Um, but no, I didn't go nowhere. I, I've been sitting around. Um, so come back, I sort of like, you know, it, it's almost like I'm gonna come out and do a tap dance or some kind of, you know, spectacle here on the table and, you know, dance my best for you guys and hope that you approve. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's the, hope, the notion of something like that is a, is a bizarre mystery. Uh, one last question. We only have time for one question. Mine? Oui. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stand up. Hi. Hi, I'm Alessandro Tommasi from Italian newspaper Leggo. And I was wondering about the movie. Do you think, uh, Johnny Depp, do you think that the situation that the king lives in, like this kind of attention, the jerky, is more or less like the celebrity status when everyone wants something for you and... Uh, on top, it's very lonely, and we can see this this king that, that's lonely and kind of betrayed by the daughters as well. I mean, how, how, do you see the comparison? Do, oui, do oui. you relate to that? Thank you. La question, c'est voyez-vous la comparaison entre être roi et être star, et comment ça ça, ça, ça se rejoint au niveau de la vie for du roi à l'époque et, et, et les stars. C'est pour Johnny Depp. Um, I, th I think you know. I would think that pretty much anybody could um, could make a similar kind of com personal comparison. That is to say, you can apply your own experiences to anything and everything that you do. Um, and I didn't. What, what I felt. What was most important about, about the character, just for foundationally, just was the the very idea that uh, first you need to figure out a way that the that the the viewer can f forget who you are and all the uh, can forget all the baggage you carry um, within the first three to four minutes of the film. That's your biggest hope. So that you say, forget completely who you are. If you got there, you got good through. You, you did all right for a minute. Um, but also thinking about a character in terms of the various people he has to be. Being the king, he's got to, he's got to have seven, eight different personalities in terms of who he deals with, how he deals with him. So I, I thought it was a, an interesting study in what a young boy was made, you know, when he was made king. It, such a young age, and this this vernacular and this language that he's like he will speak with Laborde very differently than he would speak with uh, you, you know uh, any other character. Laborde and he is very close. So that would be a very tight thing. With my Wen's character, with Jean de Vary, uh Again, it's another approach. It's another slice of the king, because he's had to sort of pie himself um, to be to be uh, 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 to maintain sort of sanity, I suppose, and distance and respect. So that that was kind of the foundationally the most important, um, and I hope the French worked. If, if it doesn't, you can always play it backwards and it'll say something else. <laughs> That's what they tell me, I don't know. Une dernière chose à vous dire, one last thing. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci, merci, merci. merci. merci beaucoup.